Hello everyone, I'm Carly and thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of Crafting with Class. Today, the Craft Room mini-series continues as we talk about cardstock. So as you saw in my Craft Room tour, I have all my white cardstock uh, in this Anna Griffin box right here. So that's my uh, Nina 80 pound, my Mohawk 110, and then my Nina 110, and then my card stocks, or actually above, let's start there, are all my specialty papers. So glitter, um, foil, um, adhesive sheets, anything like that is in these paper trays. And then my card stock is underneath. So I try to put it in rainbow order. Um, and they all, I pretty much keep the manufacturer um, you know, insert in there. So like this one's from MFT. Um, and this one's uh, paper tray ink, so and so on and so forth. And then, so it continues, the neutrals are on the second shelf. Um, and then I have six by six paper. These are all like lawn fawn, MFT kind of papers. And then below that, I have these are like all occasion. These are holiday papers. And then over here to the left, I have eight by eight papers there. And then next to that, I have a 12 by 12 uh, organizer underneath my Cricut. So here's where I store all, all my 12 by 12 card stock and uh, some lawn fun pattern paper right here. So that is how my cardstock is organized. In my IKEA drawers, my Alex drawers, I have one drawer dedicated to having paper and card bases ready. This was something that I learned from Jennifer, Jennifer McGuire. And at first I'm like, mm, is that really a thing I need to do? And I did it one day and I never looked back. <laughs> so it's actually is very time saving. Um, and yeah, that's just how I organize everything. So just wanted to share really quick. In the front, I have these little inserts using the Lawn Fawn, um, I don't know, the little different stem sets, but I use these to stick in the very front of the card, you know, when I put it in an envelope so it protects any embellishments, it kind of takes any kind of rough housing that happens in the mail. Um, so that hopefully my card gets there. Okay, and so far so good. Um, I have a little pad of Copic paper. And then I have just ready to go um, paper. So now this one that says inside card panels. When I'm using a colored card stock, then I like to insert a um, sheet of white. And so here I've already cut it down to size to fit in a two card. Um, and so I also like to die cut so you can see the stitching around. So it just makes it look more finished, but you definitely don't need to do that. Um, but I have those ready to go as well. And then all the papers that I use most often, like Nina 80, Mohawk 110, Bristol Smooth, Canson, Excel, Mixed Media, UFO paper, and, you know, just all ready to go. And these are all pretty much around A2. Um, and then next to that, I have all my card bases. So these are, a, like, for example, they're all labeled. So this is A2 card bases that are white. So in the front, I usually have the top folding. And then behind it, I usually have the um, ones that fold from the bottom. But I, do, 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 I guess I don't have any for these right now. But usually I have the ones in the back that fold the other way so then these are black craft slimline and then these are just inside panels that are ready for me to die cut and then i have a seven white um a seven ivory a seven black so those are kind of the two sizes i make the most of a seven slimline and the A2, so that's kind of what I usually have ready to go. Let's talk all things cardstock. So I wanted to do a comparison of different types and brands of cardstock that are currently available 
And so I wanted to do a comparison by three topics. So weight, size, and the number of sheets per package. So all of the card stock, card stocks that I'm going to be talking about weigh 100 pounds, except for one, um, eight and a half by 11 in size, and they come in packages with 10 sheets per package with a couple of exceptions, and we'll get into that. So I want to <laughs> do a disclaimer here. I am just comparing for the value because all these manufacturers make excellent cardstock. So if you happen to purchase a cardstock, don't think I'm saying there it's bad cardstock. I'm just saying that for the money, the value, um, I feel like the brand that I buy from is just a better value. And since, you know, for me, <laughs> I am on a budget, these things matter. All right, so disclaimer. All right, so let's get started. First, we're gonna take a look at Spellbinder. So Spellbinder sells their 10 sheets per package. They're 100 pound for $6.99. Okay, my favorite things also sells 10 sheets, 100 pound cardstock for $6.99, as does Simon Says Stamp and Hero Arts. Lawn Fawn sells their 10 sheets of 100 pound cardstock for $7, so you could pay one cent more. <laughs> and Altenew sells their 10 sheets of 100 pound cardstock for $10.99, so that's a bit more. Tailored Expression sells in packages of 15 sheets, 100 pound cardstock for $6. So that's a better value. But here's why I have for many years purchased and used Paper Tray Inks cardstock. So Paper Tray Inks cardstock is 110 pounds, which is the same weight that I use for card bases when I'm using white cardstock. So I like the fact that I can use colored cardstock in the same weight. They sell theirs in packages of 12 sheets for $5. But, but here's where the value really shines. So Paper Tray Ink sells their cardstock in packages of 12, 24, and 50 sheets. I will usually buy the 50 sheet packages because they're $11, especially for those colors that I use a lot, those colors that I really, really love. So keep this in mind, 110 pound, 50 sheets, $11. So if we were going to buy 50 sheets of these other card stocks, this is how much you would be paying. Let's take a look. So Spellbinders, right, you would have to buy five packages to get 50 sheets and you would be spending $34.95 comparing to Paper Tray Inks $11 for the same quantity. Now, same thing for my favorite things, you would be spending $34.95, Simon Says Stamp $34.95, Hero Arts $34.95, Lawn Fawn, $35 because of that one penny. All to new, you would be spending $54.95 for 50 sheets. And Tailored Expression, since they come in packages of 12, um, you would buy five packages, which would make, or sorry, three packages, which would make 45 sheets, and that would be $18. So again, Paper Tray Inks, 50 sheets in one package, $11. It is ex excellent quality, beautiful colors, and the value just cannot be beat. And that is why I love, use, recommend Paper Tray Ink. But again, whatever you love is good. I'm just talking about the value because that is definitely <laughs> important to me. But if it was poor quality paper, I absolutely would not do it because paper is the, you know, the foundation of a card. So I'm very picky about paper and paper trainings. Paper is exceptional. So let's take a look. So as you can see, the cardstock comes in lots of beautiful colors. My favorites are lemon tart. I think that's the most perfect buttery yellow. I love this color. And the rustic white. So rustic white is like an off white. But see how it has those little flecks and little specks. 
So it just gives it gives your card just so much character because of those little flecks. I love it, especially like on masculine cards where I'm using lighter color. Of course, you know, black, craft, um, like a stone gray. So it just comes in so many colors, beautiful colors, and I absolutely love it. And I just noticed that um, it says for the like this is 50 sheets, it's $9. So if they're $11 now, they already raised their prices. So <laughs> hopefully they won't raise them anymore. But I highly recommend Paper Tray Ink. Um, but you know, ultimately you decide what's best for you, but within my budget and my you know, requirements for excellent cardstock, uh, Paper Tray Ink definitely is the one for me. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate it, and I really hope that this comparison and video was helpful. Next time, we'll talk about all things embellishments. Until next time, bye!